What's your best NSFW story that happened while at work? Someone told me their wife had died. I was all I'm so sorry to hear then they said do you wanna see a picture of her? I reply yeah I bet she was beautiful. Person proceeds to show me a picture of the wife. Dead immediately after the fall that held her. Excuse me what the duck. Did tech support that involved remoting into people's computers to fix sheets so we didn't have to sit there and walk them through everything. This meant that their entire computer screen was visible on our screen. One day I was just getting back from lunch. Walking past a co-worker's desk. When I saw Falon big dig and go nads and us in the cowgirl position bouncing up and down on his screen. Co-worker was just sitting there watching it with a sheet eating grin on his face. Turns out that this particular customer was having playback issues with his porn and had called us to get help. Imagine having to nut so bad that you contact tech support for assistance. Iraq. Walked into a communications tent to find a guy and girl going at it on some equipment boxes. On ship. Was attempting to find. Some office. Don't remember. Heard a scream. Turn the corner open the hatch door. I find a guy who was in the process of getting undressed a fully nude girl standing up holding a paddle while another girl was standing nude with her hands tied to a maintenance pipe, don't know how Navy Dwemnitech works. We all make eye contact. I point to the tight girl gave an inquisitive thumbs up. She nodded. I close the door. Worked with a girl who was very fit and petite. She used to always joke that the dishwashing sinks were so big she could bathe in them. Her last shift before she left for college she was closing the store. There were only three of us in the building. We finished closing. She punched out and proceeded to strip down naked and climbed into the sinks and started spraying herself with the dish sprayer AMD lathering soap all over herself in a suggestive manner. That was a great close. Don't you duck in yada yada ass. And give us some detail. Or you will be getting a letter from the chair of the association for the preservation of the portrayal of penetrative six in movies music and literature umm she turned on the auto soap dispenser grabbed some suds and rubbed them all over herself rinsed off with the sprayer and then dried herself off with a dozen of the little towel rags from the back room the entire ordeal only lasted about two minutes i drive for uber and lyft sometimes Years back I picked up a very drunk girl from the downtown bar scene. She bathed all over herself shortly after she got in the car. Took off her bath covered clothes. Then passed out. I didn't realize she'd stripped off all her clothes until I stopped to drop her off. I drive a big SUV and she sat in the way back third row for some reason. Drunk and all. I helped her get her clothes back on and inside her house and never saw her again. She gave me 5 stars. Did you charge her the barfing fee? I used to work in a prosecutor's office. Disclosure clerks would often go through material given to us by police in order to build files that would later be used during court proceedings. Disclosure usually included police reports, witness statements, and the like. But occasionally it included electronic evidence like pictures, videos, or things taken off of a seized cell phone. One day one of the more sweet and innocent disclosure clerks was going through things and saw a picture from the accused cell phone that she couldn't quite identify. She wondered if it could be marijuana, it was. But decided to ask a few colleagues. When they came to identify what was in the picture. She opened the wrong image, an up close gif of a woman deep throating a guy with such skill that you could see a bulge in her throat. The disclosure clerk was mortified but couldn't help but laugh in embarrassment. She then opened the right image to find out it was indeed marijuana. A running joke in the office was born. Namely that marijuana isn't always what it looks like. This reminds me of a story in a roundabout way. In high school I worked at a very smart pet store. While working there a new girl started as a cashier. She was in her early 20s. Very attractive but a little mousy. One of the jobs for cashiers was to restock the front aisles while business was slow. This included dog toys. While she was stocking one day. Business picked up and she had to go back up checking people out. While ringing people out she noticed everyone was staring at her chest. One after another. Men. 
women. Couples. She started getting upset and embarrassed. Finally a shy. Soft spoken guy comes up and turns beet red. She confronts him what question mark? Why is everyone looking at my bobs? Guy sheepishly raises his hand towards her chest. Directly at the sticker that had come from a dog toy that said squeeze me. I squeak. I worked on a ship and on ships equipment is wired together through many spaces. Spaces are just rooms on a ship. One piece of equipment may be controlled from more than one space. Those spaces are used to work in and usually. People will use the spaces for personal uses as well. Think card games TV reading things like that. One day I'm on watch and a higher rank do good or asshole on a different station says a breaker needs to be flipped for a training exercise. I know the space it's in and I know one of my buddies is probably ducking off in that space. I know that sycophant will run and tattle if he sees my buddy playing games or something. I speak up and say I'm on my way there anyway I'll trip it. I walk into the space and move toward the breaker just to see my buddy sitting in a chair and a girl's bear as in his lap. Dude was gonads deep in a shipmate. They both scramble not expecting anyone to come through. I just laugh and tell him that he owes me a big one because it was the sycophant that was supposed to come up and he would have been giddy as a schoolgirl to rat him out to everyone. I was supposed to be blowing insulation in an attic with the boss daughter. We dated in high school and are the same age. At about halfway I run out of insulation and start to come out of the attic. She decided that it would be a great time to get busy. Still my best moment in construction. I got paid by my ex's parents to bang her. Girl I dated for a while in college had an insatiable kink about having sex in public. More specifically at my place of work. I managed the store alone a lot of times. She would come in unannounced. Usually when no customers were in the store. Walk to the little back room we had and put herself on the desk. Spread her legs and beg me to duck her. Which I always did. Other times she would come in and get on her knees right behind the register and give me a BJ. She was wild and fun. And we were just young and dumb. Never got caught. A customer was swiping through her phone showing a co-worker and myself reference for some artwork she wanted. She scrolled a little too far and ended up showing us a picture of her badge. You could hear a pin drop. Real awkward. She stuttered and apologized and also went a shade of red I'd never seen before. Working at an internet startup a few years ago. Small us staff, me, tech support, account management, sales guy, super sexist, racist, CFO, CEO. We're all at a trade show for a couple days. We do dinner after the show one night. And all of us but the CEO share a cab back to our hotel. On the way, the sales guy, either sober or a ridiculous lightweight, starts talking about how he wants to get laid. Cab driver offers to take us to a club where we can get whatever we want. But the CFO and I are not down. So sales guy whips out his phone and starts looking for an escort on Craigslist. He's going through his options. Narrating the choices. Finally picks one and calls her up. Right there in the cab in front of our CFO. He negotiates the price with her, like a cheapskate, and gives her the name of the hotel. He spends the rest of the ride back bragging about how often he does this and how good he is at it. Next morning, at the show and in front of our CEO, he starts complaining that the woman never showed. When the CEO asked for clarification, sales guy proudly explained. He was fired a week after. I was working at a publishing place at a temp job. I was doing data entry. Transferring a lot of records from paper to hard drives. There were three of us. Two of us were guys. The girl and I were working in the same large office. The other guy was working across the hall in his own office. The work was pretty boring and easy. We would talk a lot as we worked. Eventually the talk turned to sick stuff and I disclosed that I am into BDSM. She was fascinated and I told her she could ask whatever she wanted to. She asked me to spank her and pinch her nipples as she bent over her desk. So I did. About a year and a half ago my company decided to upgrade our client database. 
The process involved me staying on the phone with the creator of the software for hours while he went over our data tables and whatnot to make sure our data would migrate correctly once the update was completed. These meetings were particularly dull because I just sat there while he would basically copy our information into these blank templates. We were on Goto meeting or something like that so I could see the work he was doing and answer any questions he had about our data. During one of these long phone calls he needed some additional information about one of the tables we were migrating our data to. He opens up Chrome and I immediately see Pornhub and his recent tabs shortcuts. Before I could even to realize what I actually saw. The guy went and clicked on the link. Suddenly my computer screen is the squirting category of Pornhub and I just silently laughed to myself. I was on mute. Once the tab is open for a couple of seconds he realizes what he did and goes. Oops. That's not it and quickly closes the browser. Easily the funniest thing that's ever happened to me at work. My father is a teacher. He said last week. A kid threw an empty trash can off the second floor stairs and hit a kid in a wheelchair. Causing him to fall over and slide out. Probably the second worst accident that kid had been in. I ran over a guy with my subway train. It happened in between two stations in the tunnel. I had to evacuate everyone to track level and have them walk to the next station. With the help of many police. Fire and paramedics. He was laying in the tunnel around a blind turn I couldn't stop in time and put one car over him. I found out after the fact that he was actually hit by the train ahead of me. That train didn't know they hit the guy and decapitated him. I just ran over a dead body but at the time I didn't know the guy was dead. AMA. Edit. It was a suicide not a workplace accident. So I was working for a small company in a traditionally male dominated white collar industry. We had all male employees and one female employee, I'd probably say about 15-20 people at this point. I was one of the male employees. My boss. Who acted really weird sometimes. He used to give me massages that creeped me out until I told him to stop. Decides to throw a Christmas party for all of us. We're all happy. Had a few drinks in us. ETC. And then the boss says. Wow. So many people here. We could make a porno. Everyone in the room awkwardly lucks over to the one female employee. Who is getting visibly uncomfortable. He says. No no. We don't need her. I don't remember what happened after that. But suffice to say. We did not make a porno. One co-worker was trying to explain the placement of an ex-co-workers to two. English is not her first language. So she was having trouble coming up with a way to say it's big and high up on her thigh. She decided to demonstrate on a nearby male co-worker the area she was trying to describe and ended up getting more than she bargained for. She felt something. Continued to pad to try and figure it out. Then asked in her beautiful Spanish accent is that your gum? He's a marine and no one would be surprised if he had a permit to carry at all times. He just looked straight ahead. Smiled. And said you could buy a guide in a first. One of the teenage girls in work was wearing jeans with zips right down the side of each leg. The boss starts asking if they are comfy and stuff. She says something like no. They are actually really easy to open. He says let's see. Bends over. Reaches down to the angle. And starts unzipping her. The jeans start falling away. And he keeps going. Up the full length of her bare leg. Past the panty line to where the zip stops. I'd already had a crush on the girl for months. I wasn't much older than her at the time. I actually gulped. Caught one of my employees having sex with her boyfriend in her car. Both were completely nude. It was 80s model Ford Escort and she was 6 feet feet tall. What gave her away? Well. Someone noticed her bearers pressed against a window. Oh. I should mention said car was parked in the front row of the parking lot. Facing a wall of windows. This was the early 90s. So she was given a warning and sent home without pay. I did fire her the next week when she was caught doing it again. Just thinking about all the NSFW stuff that happened in those days at work makes me laugh. 
I was a shift manager at a pizza place and things were slow and we didn't have any orders. We were all standing around. One of my drivers gets a surprise visit from his girl and asks if he can drive her down to the Windexy parking lot to get it on. I shrug and tell him to hurry back. He said. Oh. I won't be long. Once had a spontaneous orgasm while it was at my desk trying to figure out what's wrong with my account. I don't know how it happened or why but it happened. I had sex with my then supervisor in the back of the workshop while my co-worker I was working with got our gear ready for the day. That co-worker then gave me extremely enthusiastic roadhead while I drove to the site for the day. I ended up dating her for a while and eventually confessed. She told me that she knew and it turned her on while she was doing it. More so NSFL. But my girlfriend and I work security at a hospital. A patient was brought in by ambulance with serious gangrene in his foot and leg. We have to want down patients that show up via ambulance and she couldn't do it because the smell was too strong. We also check their stuff if they have anything on them. And he had a Tupperware container full of bones and decaying flesh that had fallen off. The receptionist was in my office telling me that she wasn't really sick yesterday. She called in sick but really went out yesterday got a new tattoo. I asked if it was something I could see. Or was it on too private a place for me to look at? She said I could see it. She pulled up her top. Pulled her bra up to show me the side of her bob and the new dolphin tattoo on the side of her bob. UMM. That's sorta what I meant about too private, but thanks for showing it to me. Had an employee named Rob. He was buddies with my boss. Phil. Who sort of strong armed me into hiring Rob. Part of Rob's sales territory was the adult services section of the newspapers. Basically escorts and erotic massage. Over a few months. Rob started getting deep into the shifty. Dark corners of that world. He started accepting six and drew Gus in exchange for ads from the less scrupulous escorts. One Friday afternoon I'm closing up shop. Needed to clean up the kitchen a bit. So went to the utility closet to grab some cleaning gear. And there's Rob getting head from a methed out escort. So I have worked in private security for a long time for a few different companies at very many different places. This story occurred when I was working on a contract at the local homeless shelter. It was probably my second or third day at this particular site. I showed up and relieved the off-going officer. Grabbed my radio and check in yada yada. I decide to start my rounds in the garage. At this particular shelter the garage was an open air area with a bunch of lockers for the clients and parking spots for staff surrounded by a metal fence gate that was closed off with mesh. This area had a bunch of benches and tables and whatnot so that the clients could hang out and such during the day. I walk out the doors into the garage area. And immediately to my front about 10 meters away from there is a man standing there. He has his pants down around his knees and he is violently beating his big dick. When I say beating his big dick I don't mean that he was masturbating. I mean that he was viciously assaulting his thigh using his big dick as a club of sorts. To the point where I can hear an audible slap 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 from where I am standing. After being shocked for a second or two. I ask him hey man what are you doing? At which point he stops momentarily. Stares at me real hard for a second or two. Looks back down. Slaps it one more time for good measure. Then pulls his pants up and walks away. Stop him and talk to him. Walk him to his caseworker inside the building so they can discuss what the duck that was all about. And then carry on about my day. Edit. A word. I used to work in a one hour photo lab. My boss hired a very attractive new employee that I was told I had to train. During her first week she flirted with me constantly. And eventually straight up told me she wanted to see me outside of work. During one of our shifts I had to go to the dark room. Basically a closet. To swap out the photo paper into a new cartridge. She asked if I could show her how to do it. As soon as we got in there she dropped to the floor and gave me head to completion. Which. Luckily for me didn't take very long considering how hot she was. And how exciting. And dangerous the whole situation was. We dated the whole summer and had six in that storm more times than I could count. 
that was a good summer. I worked at a restaurant. There was a cool as hell. Les lady in her 40s who worked in the kitchen. We were outside, back concealed break area, smoking and chatting when out of nowhere she goes it's hot as sheet. I got a change. Proceeded to take off her t-shirt. Then bra. And put on a tank top from her bag. I just stood there with my mouth open. She was like close your duck in mouth. They are just tits. So I closed my mouth and was just like UHH. So anyways. Double quote. Boyfriend and I started out as co-workers. He was a German electrician and I was his apprentice. We were working in new build residential electrical and we had 6 in for sure over 100 houses at different stages of construction, including to show homes. I think the higher the risk of getting caught the more turned on we were. Most memorable incident was in a basement full of construction workers. We found an empty room and he laid down on a roll of carpet and I rode him. There was no way to lock the door and I had to take off my coveralls to have 6. My heart was beating so hard the whole time. My married boss and his secretary had been having sexual relations for some time before they were finally caught. There was something about semen on a dress that really helped to prove all our suspicions. Anyway he retired and his wife tried to get his old job but it ended up going to some spray tanned guy.